what we doing is showing that what? If you so-called African-American, would you say you so-called African-American? All right, well, African-American, where does that term come from? You tell me. How do we get that term? I, I agree. You're 100% correct. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The white man gave it to us, right? So, if the white man gave us that term, is it, is it, would it be empowering for us to keep calling ourselves African-Americans, or would it be empowering to actually, disconnect from that? I actually think it's, 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 it's another term for enslavement. That's, that's, that's deep. That's real deep. Because, exactly, you know what I'm saying? If, if you had property, you would name it, correct? You would give it a title, you would give it a last name, and you give it a title. It's the same way they did with us. So America is named after Amerigo Vespucci. That's an Italian. Italians are Romans. Romans are what people? Romans? Yeah, what color are they? They're white, right? So now, and then uh, Amerigo, what's it called? America, African American. And then Africa is named after Leo Sipius Africanus. That was another Roman general that conquered Africa and named it after himself. So we, we know the history of the white man. He goes around conquering all nations and then naming them what he wants. Okay. Same way he did with so-called America, right? Okay. Because whose land was his prior to them getting here? I thought it was, uh, actually thought it was. Give you a hand, they're your brothers, right here. All right, all right, I got you, I got you. So-called Indians, <laughs> yes. But they, they weren't calling themselves Indians. You was calling yourself before he came and took your nationality. You was like, hey, I'm Judah. That's my nationality, that's who I be. And they were saying, we're Gad, okay. we're uh, Reuben. We're Issachar, Naphtali. But you notice, what you notice about this sign? Tell me what you notice. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Right, 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 right. So here, here, it's say 12, 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. So this is all what? These are, these are relatives of Syria. That's right. That, you own it. That's our relatives. That's our family. Yeah. This is our people right here, and these are the people of God as well. Right. But now we got to figure out, why are we calling ourselves African American and black? Well, I thought it was that's that's a part of it that is a part of it but it goes further back than I know, that I know, I know that to the time of Moses so let's let's read this thing let me show you something come on Deuteronomy 28 in verse 15 but it shall come to pass if thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God so Moses is speaking to the Israelites all right the main character of what we're gonna talk about right now the 12 tribes of Israel or who God calls the Israelites all right so now read that again but it shall come to pass if thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, yep. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes. So the Israelites were commanded to keep God's what? Yeah, all praise. You want it? Come on. Which I command thee this day. So that day the Lord said, I about you to be my people. Meaning he took them on to be his. It was non-negotiable. We was his people. We were his possession. You see what I'm saying? But in order for us to stay that way, we had to keep God's laws. And if we did not, the Lord said, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, how do you get your name? Felix. Felix? Okay, Felix. Felix. I'm Mordecai. Felix. Felix, okay. Like Phoenix. Phoenix. But Fe you said Felix. Phoenix. Phoenix? You said it right. Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. It's Felix. All right, well, yeah, what was, do it again. From the top? Uh, no, the last part. Yes, sir. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, you in agreement, and I see you locked in. It said curses will befall God's people. So let me ask you something. How long have we been in America? I give you some help. I give you some, uh, I don't know if there's a date on here. Uh, let me see. This this may have a date on it. Yeah, it does, but we can't see it. Look looked like 1769. That looked like 1769. All right, so how long has that been? That's been almost a century ago. Yeah, yeah, about half a year. Yeah, no, it's more than that. Shoot, 1619, so we got here 1619, correct? Now, us as a people, have we prospered in this nation at all? Have we? Yeah, like collectively as a whole. We, I know we got certain amongst us that do well, but if you go to the ghettos and in the slums and in the hoods, it, it look a lot like back then, correct? It ain't look like much change, right? It's like, it's like back, back in our activity. Oh, it's brother on point, read, read verse 16. Cursed shall I be in the city. So now we're going over the curses. God said his people will be cursed in the city. Cursed in the city looks like high crime rate, high poverty, uh, domestic violence, single parent households, uh, long hours, low wages. Everybody else is prospering and building up around you. You ever notice how the Chinese men will come here and set up shops? They should, and then the Arabs will come here and set up gas stations. And then uh, all these other folks will have businesses, right? But we've been here 400 plus years. And we ain't got nothing.
think that is? Okay. Yeah, I'm blaming us. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Nigga up. Nigga up. Come on. Read 16 again. Cursed shall I be in the city. So the Lord said, Cursed will we be in the city. The Israelites will be cursed in the city. We can identify that that agrees with who? What people? But what are they called today? That's right. Come on. He on it. Come on. And cursed should I be in the field. Now look how detailed God get. God said cursed would his people be in the fields. What fields were blacks and Hispanics serving in? What fields? Yeah, what fields? Like what? Like, okay, here. Here, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Here, look on there. What's, where, where they at? Where they at right there? I mean, I understand. Fields, this the one. Oh, right here. What field is that right there? That, yeah, that's but that's just that's, that's, that's the field. that's the cotton field. Yeah. And now, how much money did America make off of two hundred years of free labor? I, I worked in the cotton field before. I wasn't making enough money for it Damn, you see that? And then America traded that cotton to all other places, and you know how much they raised that thing and put taxes on it and made sure they got their cut. And then with that, they was able to do what? Build up everything you see around you. Okay, right. Okay. Who sold? Who sold? Who sold them that property? Who gave them that property? Right, they didn't, they didn't, here, here, hold this, hold this, go to Micah 2. I know they took a lot of it. Yes, that's, but, let's get what it is, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get what they did, because there wasn't no, and then you can say, the so-called Native Americans, right, they were here, correct? Uh -huh. Now, they were the ones that made the first deals with the so-called white man, but the white man knew the value of the land, he had already uh, did recon, assessed it, understood there was resources, all that, right? Uh -huh. Now, instead of him giving a fair dollar amount for that land, what did he give them? trinkets beads and uh beaver skins and whatever furs stuff that didn't matter you see what i'm saying michael two and, uh and disease blankets to kill them off that's what they did read this <laughs> michael chapter two and verse one verse two and the lord answered me and said write the vision you and Habakkuk, michael michael two michael michael, michael. yeah you and Habakkuk. yeah Girl, come on michael chapter two and verse two and they covet field. So it said, this man will covet a field. When you covet something, that means you have a un or unrighteous desire to have. Meaning you want what you can't have, and you'll, you'll steal that thing. You will kill for that thing. You'll do whatever you got to do to take it. That's what coveting is. So it said, this man coveted what? And they covet field. They coveted the fields. The fields of where? The Midwest. The fields of the South. The fields of the North. They coveted those things. Come on. And take them by violence. And how they take them? By violence. By violence. They took that thing by violence. That's what this man did. So when we go back, go to Deuteronomy 28. This is what they took. They took your brother's lands from you. They took that thing. But look, us repenting, we can take it back. All right? Now read this. Come on. Cursed should I be in the city, yep. and cursed should I be in the field. So we were cursed in what? The cotton fields, the sugar cane fields, the tobacco fields, the plantains, whatever resource they needed to pick, guess what they used? Us. Right. And it was 200 plus years of free labor, right. non-taxed. Imagine if you got your your check. If you, I know you said 12 dollars, and that's a shame. Yeah. If you got a 12 dollar check for 200 years with no taxes, where would you be? Think about it. Think about it. You can run the world, could you not? You, you, you know what I'm saying? You can do a lot with that. You see what I'm saying? So this is what this man did. And then they told us, you niggas, pull yourself up by your bootstrap. Go work the menial jobs of the world and try to make yourself better. Meanwhile, they denied us schooling. They denied us education. They denied us uh, voting rights. They denied everything. You see what I'm saying? So I'm showing that these are the curses that identify God's people. Now, how do we get to this side of the world? How did african American so-called? You said it was a boat. You think that's in the Bible? Is it? Let's see. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall, shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord will bring the Israelites into Egypt. You know about the Bible at all? What was going on with Moses and, uh, and the Israelites in Egypt? Yeah, Moses and Pharaoh. What was going on with Moses and Pharaoh? True. Well, but why did he have to go to Pharaoh? What was he telling Pharaoh? Nah, Pharaoh was the oppressor. He was the king, right? But what were the Israelites doing in Pharaoh's kingdom? Yeah, true. Exodus 1 and 13. The grab that for him. 
It was early in the year. I, know, I see before he came, yeah. before, he before came. they left out. They was partying doing all that. You're right. But before they left, why did they have to leave? What position were they serving in his kingdom, in Pharaoh's kingdom? Yes, and pyramids. And all, the, all that that you see, our ancestors built that. But what were we doing? Were we, were we free citizens? All right, let's see here. Exodus 113. Exodus chapter 1 and verse 13. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. So they made us serve with rigor. We had to serve them. So when you serve in another nation, what's that called? Or start with an S right here. Slavery. It's called slavery. So the Egyptians had the Israelites in slavery. That's what happened. Read it one more time. The Exodus 113. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. So they made them serve with rigor. When somebody makes you serve with rigor, uh, yes, exactly, it's forced. So now when we go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28, 68, come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt meaning, according to what we just read, what does Egypt mean? Slavery. You want to hear? Go ahead. You want to get it? Go ahead. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. This is it right here. I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt. From the land of Egypt. Slow down. Out of the house of bondage. The house of bondage. So what's another word for bondage? If you went bonds. You got to say it for me, though. Come on. I got to know you're working with me. What was the word? The S word. That's it. Slavery. Just leave it there. The unbonded slavery. It's all the same thing. We can Google it right now. And it'll say all, you know what I'm saying? Same thing. Now, go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Or slavery again. How? With ship. How? With ship. So he said, my people will go into slavery on ships. What people did that happen to? See that right there? I see the ship. You see the ship. Now, what's the cargo on the ship? You gotta give me the play by play. Give me the play by play. What kind what color are the people? They're black, right? So this is whose history? No, whose history? So called African Americans. The African Americans. This is their history, but we finding out that, like you said. It's the history of the Israelites. It's the history of God's people. Because we're not reading about, go ahead. Yeah, we're not reading about African Americans. We're reading about Israelites. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity.